what's up you guys it's your girl Nessa and welcome back to my channel so what I have here today is my first ever forever 21 plus haul I've worn forever 21 for years for years but I realized I had never done a haul video for y'all so this came in the mail on Friday today is Sunday and I'm just now opening it so we're gonna see what I got in here and I'm gonna show you guys what I also bought so, the last time I ordered some from Forever 21, I ordered, like, some really cute little strappy flaps, but I had to return them because they, uh, they were too big for me personally. But I got a little cute little tidbits of stuff that I think would be really, really cute for you guys if you're that casual girl who likes to wear a lot of graphic tees and whatnot and you not, you like to switch it up a little bit. Sorry, I got hair over my face and all that stuff so it came in this box right here i just opened it just now literally because i just got the stuff in the mail um on friday so i've been tired i've been working i never felt the need to you know <clears throat> felt the need to like actually um open this box i was just like i'm gonna wait till i'm ready to like record so i'm ready to record so the first things first is a knit dress is a short length burgundy dress have y'all realized Forever 21 is getting a lot more expensive now? Like, have y'all just noticed that? Because I remember when I started shopping Forever 21, like almost six, seven years ago, when I was in college at Lane, up in Lane in Jackson, Tennessee, and I was just looking at their clothes and I wanted all this stuff they had at the time. They said it was mad cheap back then. But, like, lately of this year alone, everything else is, like, up to, like, 60 bucks. Literally. Like, stuff is 60 bucks now. And I was like, Forever 21, y'all would never that expensive. Like, 60 and up. Like, I've seen stuff at between the prices of 35 and almost 80 bucks at Forever 21. Uh, at plus size section. I don't know about the straight size section. But I just always wondered, why is it so mad expensive now? Like, seriously. Why is it so mad expensive? I want to know why. What I would love for Forever 21 to do is go up on some sizes and stuff. Staying at 3X, it's time for y'all to hit 4 and 5 and 6. I'm just saying because we like to wear it too. So I got this red dress, this knit dress with a hood on it with these black uh, like tri uh, black tie straps in the front of them. And it got like, uh, it's a knit dress. And then it got like these ruffles in the sleeves right here. And it's cuffed right here where your, your wrist will be at. And I thought it was really cute. It looked really stylish on the model. It looks kind of like, you know, you know, just a regular knit dress, but more stylish and more, you know, sophisticated and prettier. Yeah. So I got that. And it's in a 3X. I try to go by how it looks on my body personally because with a fair between one, you know, they run kind of small. And then they don't stop at 3X and they think 3X is a size 20, which we all know that's a damn lie because 3X is more like a 22-ish, maybe 20 to 22-ish. Um, most time it's 24, depending on who is the person who made the clothes. But, you know, I just wish that favorite 21 and like, you know, those other junior, I know it's a junior plus size store. I understand that. But they do realize most of their retail is coming from very like big plus size woman like myself who was size like 24 slash 26 you know around that range so you know i just want them to like you know hey we want to be included as well and all that stuff so just saying next one is this shirt this specifically is me all the freaking way i stay moody I'm a moody girl. Really, I am. Oh, they fold us. They fold their shirts just like we do in my job. We put like uh, pieces of paper in them, like actual pieces of white paper, and that's how we fold our shirts at my job. But I got like look, like little silky paper in the front. So this one's called Moody with the two hearts in the middle for the O's. The two O's that are supposed to go right there. I thought that was really cute. It's a three X, and it's pink. This is my mood every single day. I am a moody person. I stay moody all the time. All the freaking time. So, 
I just feel the need to get that shirt. It was really cute and it was really affordable. Uh, I want to say it was about. Now they got Canadian dollars on here, so. <clears throat> 90. I'm sorry. It's so tiny and so small. I can't see what's which, which item is which. All right. All right, so this I had to get. This is like my like childhood dream reimagined all over again. And this is the whole entire Dragon Ball Z um, family, literally. And it's so freaking cute. Like, it's the entire show, the entire family of Dragon Ball Z, the, all the characters. And I'm like, yo, you had to pull it on my heartstrings for Ever 21. Like, seriously, you are the goat okay you're the greatest of all time with this one i'm just saying like come on i have never seen any shirts like this in a plus size for plus size girls and the fact that i was able to find this baby in forever 21 oh my god i'm so freaking happy like i will wear this just because and you see how big it is like this is probably bigger than they regular shirts so i know this is not sold it's sold by them but it's not their shirts this is sold by somebody else. And so I can definitely tell that this wasn't sold by Fair Twin One. Like it wasn't made by Fair Twin One, but it was sold by them. But I'm glad they got it because it's so freaking cute. It had like everybody on the show. Like I oh my god, that show brings back so many memories for me because why not? Then next is this stripey rose top um oh hmm, look kind of croppy so it looks like it's a, a crop top but i don't think it is because it's not hitting croppy crop would like be like underneath my like right here right up in here and it got like this little ruffle crinkly thing at the bottom which it goes on the sleeves as well but i love stripes and i love like embellishments or embroidery attached to clothes i always love that and that seems to be like a it thing now like have you noticed that when you see a lot of like rose pieces on clothes they're always embroidered or embellished on them or something like that i'm i think it's more embroidery so it's like more of an embroidery piece and it's so cute and it's a 3x it's stretchy stretch 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 i didn't realize it was that short actually but it's cute though it's not too short, I'm glad, because I'm not a big fan. I'm not fans of crop tops. I never will be. But let's hope to God I can fit into these shoes. So, I said last time I told you I bought something that was when um, I had bought some strappies. And I'm going to wear them to a, like a future um, lookbook. I was going to make a lookbook, another lookbook again. But, um that fell through because the shoes were too big and I didn't feel comfortable walking around with like shoes just sliding off and everything. So I got these babies. These gold sexy ankle boots like what? They in a size what, what size they in? 10. So let's hope to God they fit me because for every 21 don't really make a lot of plus size friendly wide like wide feet friendly wide fit friendly pretty much so let's hope to god these fit these are really cute this would be like really cute with some like ripped leggings no not ripped leggings ripped jeans or something like a top down wearing like this with a cold shoulder they would be so freaking cute right here and it's pointed which i had no issue with pointed but i can deal with it and it got a little bit of a boot look right a little heel to that which is cute and all and i love how it's like you know giving that shine and glare as I point it towards the camera. Like that is so freaking cute. I love it. So let's hope to God they fit. I won't try them on to afterwards. Uh, but yeah. That is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out. Bye.